BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Let's go get a blessing. Turn to the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Vamos en búsqueda de una bendición y abramos sus Biblias en el libro de Efesios capítulo 1. Well, this is uh, the City Gate Messianic Bible Study, Ephesians part number 4. Estos son los portones de la ciudad, eh, estudio, eh, estudios bíblicos mesiánicos. We're going to read Ephesians chapter 1 verses 1 through 6 to get us ready for tonight. Study. Vamos a leer el primer el capítulo número uno de, de Efesios para así empezar nuestro estudio bíblico de esta noche. Verse 1 through 6. El versículo 1 al 6. From Shaul, by God's, by God's will, an emissary of Messiah, Yeshua, to God's people living in Ephesus. That is, those who are trusting in Messiah, Yeshua, grace to you and shalom from God our Father and the Lord Yeshua the Messiah. Praise be to Jehovah, Father of our Lord, Yeshua the Messiah, who, who in the Messiah has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heaven. In the Messiah, he chose us in love before the creation of the universe to be holy and without def defect in his presence. Uh, he determined in advance that through Yeshua the Messiah, we would be his sons in keeping with his pleasure and purpose so that we would bring him praise, commensurate with the glory and grace given uh, he gave us through the, the Beloved One. Amen? All right, so we're going to be going on to slide number 55. Vamos a estar pasando a la diapositiva número 55. Slide number 55. Diapositiva número 55. Okay, and we're starting section, chapter 1, section number 3. Estaremos comenzando la sección, el capítulo 1, sección 3. And this section is verse 7 through 10. Y esta sección es del versículo 1 hasta el, 6, hasta el 10. Okay, we're doing verses 7 through 10 now. Estamos haciendo el versículo 7 hasta el 10. In union with him, through the shedding of his blood, we are set free. Our sins are forgiven. This accords with the wealth of the grace he has lavished on us. In all his wisdom and insight, he has made known to us his secret plan, which by his own will he designed beforehand in connection with the Messiah and will put into effect when the time is ripe. His plan to place everything in heaven and on earth under the Messiah's head. All right, going on to the next slide. Vamos a la siguiente diapositiva. Okay, going on to next slide number 56. Vamos a la diapositiva número 56. Okay, we're going to be focusing on verse number 7 to start out with. Nos vamos a estar, enfo nos vamos a estar enfocando en el versículo 7 para comenzar. Because I, I'm, I'm reading from the complete Jewish Bible. Yo estoy leyendo de la Biblia completa judía. And uh, other translations sometimes look a little different. Y las otras traducciones se ven un poco diferente. And sometimes, without going to the definitions, 
y algunas veces sin ir a las definiciones, um, you think the definitions are drastically different and they're not. Tú pensarías que las definiciones son drásticamente diferentes. Okay, so let's read verse 7. No son drásticamente diferentes. In union with him through the shedding of his blood, we are set free. Our sins are forgiven. This accords with the well of his grace. Okay, now a lot of other translations don't say in union with him. Muchas de las otras traducciones no dicen en unión con él. You want to help her with that? You want a knife? <laughs> Adriana is having a trouble opening a box. <laughs> I, I had to stop for a minute. I was like, you're going to hurt yourself. Okay. All right. So in union with him. En unión con él. In most transla English translations anyway. En la mayoría de, la, de las traducciones en inglés. It says in him. Dice en, en él. So if you're in something, that means you're in union with what you're in. Si tú well, dices esta, que estás en algo, dices, eso significa de que estás en unión con eso. Okay. So it's, it's a very important um, concept that you have to understand. Es un concepto muy importante que debes de entender. Because um, in the CJB, it gives you a clearer understanding. Porque en la Biblia completa judía te da un entendimiento claro. In union with him, when it states in union with him, it means like you're together. Eh, cuando dice que estás en unión con él, significa que están juntos. Because, están it's, because it, it's like being married. Porque es como estar eh, casado. You know, man shall leave his father, mother, and cleave to his wife. They're in union. El hombre dejará su, a su padre a su madre y se unirá a su mujer. Están unidos. If they're not in union, that means they're going to get divorced. <laughs> si no están unidos, eso significa que se van a divorciar. So when you read the, the other English translations where it says in him, cuando lees las otras traducciones que dicen en él, it doesn't lend itself, it doesn't give itself to really that concept of in union. No se da a entender ese concepto de eh, que están en unión. And that's why I think a lot of uh, English speaking people and definitely the Spanish speaking people miss the real meaning of Ephesians. Por eso es que yo creo que muchas personas que leen el inglés y también muchos lo que leen en el español eh, eh, no, no, no captan el concepto de, de Efesios. Okay, so let's look at the first half of the sentence of verse number seven. Vamos a ver la primera parte, la, la, primer, la primera mitad de la, del verso 7. It says, in union with him, Dice, through, en unión con él, through the shedding of his blood. Eh, eh, a través del de, derramamiento de sangre. Okay, now when you read the other translation, Ahora cuando tú, tú lees las otras traducciones, in him we have redemption through his blood. En él tendremos redención por su sangre. It's saying the same thing, but the CJB is saying it more Hebraically. Está diciendo lo mismo, pero la, la Biblia completa judía te, está, te lo está dejando saber en una forma más hebraica. Because in shedding the blood, it gives you more of a concept of Torah. Eh, porque el derramar la sangre te da más un concepto de, de acuerdo a la Torah. And in we have redemption doesn't doesn't it says the same thing but less powerful el leer la parte leerlo en, en cuando dice redención sí significa lo mismo mas no le das ese mismo énfasis and less torah or a less torah language y no se asemeja mucho al lenguaje que se usa en la Torah. I'm, you know, stuttering a little bit because I'm trying to pick, we're trying to translate into another language. That's why I'm trying to give word pictures. Estamos traduciendo en otro idioma y por eso me estoy deteniendo y para así escoger las palabras que, que, que son necesarias y adecuadas. Because a lot of times when you're trying to explain the the Bible, which is a Jewish book, from porque, end to end. 
porque muchas veces el tratar de explicar la Biblia que es un libro judío de, de, de comienzo a fin and you're trying to explain it to Gentiles. Y tú tratas de explicárselas a los gentiles. I found from doing this so long, you, you really need to get good at word pictures. Entonces, eh, en, haber, en haber estado en el ministerio tanto tiempo, ya me he dado cuenta de que eh, hay que buscar una manera perfecta para dar una imagen a, a esa palabra. Now, let's look at verse 7 again. Eh, vamos a leer el versículo 7 una vez más. In union with him through the shedding of his blood, we are set free. Our sins are forgiven. This accords with the wealth of grace. Now, in the uh, other English translation, the NASB. Ahora en las otras, eh, en la otra traducción en inglés, en la NASB. Now, here the word redemption is very good. Aquí la palabra redención es muy buena. Okay. Um, because redemption gives you an understanding that uh, you had to be purchased back. La redención te da un entendimiento de que debiste ser comprado de nuevo. That you were a slave or in jail, so the redemption is needed. Porque fuiste un esclavo, estabas en, en prisión, entonces eh, necesitaba, se necesitaba la redención. The reason we're taking so long to do this la razón por la cual nos estamos tomando tanto tiempo en hacer esto is as you progress through the book of Ephesians, es porque mientras que tú progresas en el libro de Efesios, if you don't have the foundational understanding of chapter 1, si no tienes la base y fundamentos del capítulo 1, you're not going to be able to understand the rest of the letter. Tú no vas a poder entender el resto de la carta. Because most people come in to this letter or this book in the middle. Porque la mayoría de las personas van a le a empiezan a leer este libro o esta carta a la mitad de, li de la carta. And when you come in in the middle, y cuando empiezas en la mitad, you bring all that poor Christian theology. Tú entonces sacas conclusiones pobres de esa teología de cristiana. And then you come to the conclusion we don't need the law and all, every other stupid Christian doctrine. Y sacas conclusiones estúpidas como la que ya no necesitamos eh, la, la ley y todo esa, 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 esas conclusiones. Because if, if you've been redeemed Porque si fuiste redimido and set free as verse 7 is saying, saying y, y fuiste puesto en libertad como dice el, el versículo 7 Why do you want to go back to bondage of sin? ¿Por qué querrás tú ir de, de, de estar de regreso atado al pecado? How did you get into sin and bondage. ¿Cómo es que tú te, te encontraste eh, eh, o llegaste de regreso al pecado y, a, y, a, y estar atado al pecado? You know, a lot of people, you, you can think of this like credit cards. Tú puedes pensar como esto de una tarjeta de crédito. And you know, people filing for bankruptcy. Y las personas eh, que, que eh, buscan y dicen que, eh, que eh, ¿cómo sería la palabra? Filing, um, se anotan, se anotan para la bancarrota. You know, uh, a lot of people from other countries don't understand uh, American, the American system. Eh, muchas personas de otros países no entienden el sistema americano. And nor do many Am Americans understand that bankruptcy is bad. Y la mayoría y muchos de los americanos tampoco entienden de que la bancarrota es mala. But how do you get to bankruptcy? Pero ¿cómo es que tú a la bancarrota? Because you can't stop spending. Porque no puedes parar de gastar. You're spending more than you're taking in. Tú estás gastando más de lo que estás pudiendo, eh, eh, de lo que estás recibiendo. It's like, if you don't need it, don't buy it. Es como que si no lo necesitas, no lo compres. But a lot of people think what they're heart instead of their head. Pero hay muchas personas que piensan con su corazón en vez de, con, de, en vez de su cabeza. Now why am I talking about that? Ahora, ¿por qué estoy hablando de esto? Because you need that concept when looking at verse number 7. Porque necesitas ese concepto mientras que estás leyendo el versículo 7. You're set free, you're redeemed. Fue, esta, tú fuiste puesto a libertad, entonces significa que fuiste redimido. From a life of slavery to Satan. De una vida de esclavitud uh, de, 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 de Satanás. Why do you want to go back to that 
without God's laws. ¿Por qué quieras tú de irte de regreso a eso sin las leyes de Jehová? Okay, so verse number seven. Entonces el versículo siete. In union with him through the shedding of his blood, we are set free. Our sins are forgiven. This accords with the wealth of the grace. Okay, so the first part of verse seven is we un have to understand that we need to be in union with Messiah Yeshua. Entonces la primera parte del versículo 7 es que debemos de entender de que estamos, debemos estar en unión con nuestro Mesías Yeshua. And how are you in him or in union with him? Entonces cómo estás tú eh, en él o en unión con él? That means you're doing the same things he is doing. Eso significa eh, que tú estás haciendo lo mismo que él está haciendo. So if you're not keeping the Sabbath, Entonces, si no estás guardando el sábado, you, you are not in union with him, you are in union with the Catholic Pope. Tú no estás en unión con él, tú estás en unión con el Papa Católico. Because the disciples met on the first day of the week, they didn't worship on the first day of the week. Ellos se reunieron en el, en el primer día de la semana. Ellos no adoraron en el primer día de la semana. All right, let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la siguiente diapositiva. Slide number 57. Eh, diapositiva número 57. We're going to be looking at the word redemption. Vamos a estar viendo la palabra redención. Okay, redemption is G629. La palabra eh, redención es G629. Okay, um, The releasing by a payment of ra ransom. El ser puesto en libertad eh, por un eh, por algo que fue pagado. That means ransom. That means you were kidnapped. Eh, el un ransom sería cuando uno um, secuestrado. Secuestrado. Pero qué se la qué se paga cuando se paga. Okay, we got it. No, because sequestrado is it being taken captive is like is the ransom. No, well, the well ransom. I said we're ta taken captive. You're kidnapped. Cuando fuiste, sí, cuando fuiste secuestrado. Okay, so you're you're taken. You're kidnapped. Fuiste. Fuiste secuestrado. Okay, and somebody had to pay a price. To get you back. Y alguien tuvo que pagar un precio para para ten, para tener todo nuevo. Okay, so once somebody paid your price. Entonces una vez que una persona pagó el rescate. Okay, um, do you go back to to your kidnapper? Será que te vas de te vas de regreso de vuelta a donde a quien te eh, Raptó, quien te llevó. Okay, so you, you don't go back to that person who kidnapped you. Tú no te vas de regreso donde esa persona quien okay. te raptó. Now that's a key concept for the rest of the book of Ephesians. Ahora, eso es una, un concepto clave para el resto del libro de Efesios. That if you don't understand this concept, you're not going to understand the rest and come to a bad conclusion. Que si tú no entiendes este concepto, tú no vas a entender el resto y vas a terminar en una mala una conclusión errónea. This word G629 in the Greek Esta palabra en el griego G, G629 means a liberation uh, procured by a payment. That means somebody gave this payment for you. Eh, esto es una liberación procurada por alguien que pagó. So in if you're in union with Yeshua, si estás en unión con Yeshua, he released you by him paying your debt. Eh, él tú fuiste puesto en libertad porque él pagó tu deuda. You were liberated from Hasatan. Tú fuiste libertado liberado de Hasatan. Now what do you do with your liberation? Ahora qué haces tú con esa libertad? Do you go back to your same old problems? Será que te vas de regreso a tus viejos antiguos a tus viejos problemas? Or do you change the way you live your life? O cambias la forma en que tú vives tu vida. Okay. So this is a key concept for the rest of the letter. Ahora esto es un concepto clave para el resto de la de la carta. Because if you don't change the way you're living, you're going back 
to Satan's house. Porque si no cambias la forma de tu vida, entonces vas a ir de regreso a la casa de Satanás. And how do you change the way you live? Entonces, ¿cómo cambias la forma de tu vida en que vives? You got to follow the perfect unchanging commandments. Tienes que guardar los perfectos mandamientos que no cambian. And if you don't change the way you live, y si no cambias la forma en que vives, then everything Yeshua did for you for your redemption, entonces todo lo que Yeshua hizo por ti por tu redención, all the pain he suffered, todo el dolor que él sufrió, you know, all the whipping he suffered, todos los latigazos que él sufrió, all the all of his teachings mean absolutely nothing to you. Entonces significa que absoluta en ninguna de sus enseñanzas significan absolutamente nada para ti. Did we start the camera? Yes, sir. Okay. Going on to the next slide. Vamos a la siguiente diapositiva. All right. We're going to read verse uh, 7 through uh, 10 again. Vamos a leer del versículo 7 hasta el 10 nuevamente. In union with him through the shedding of his blood, we are set free. Our sins are forgiven. This accords with the wealth of grace. He has lavished on us. In all his wisdom and insight, he has made known to us his secret plan by his own will he designed beforehand in connection with the Messiah and will put into effect when the time is right. His plan to place everything in heaven and on earth under Messiah's headship. Amen. So now we're, we're keying on verse number eight. Ahora vamos a hacer énfasis en el versículo ocho. Okay, now we're keying on the word wisdom. Y, 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 y también haciendo énfasis en la palabra sabiduría. So let's read verse 8 again. Vamos a leer versículo 8 nuevamente. Which is really, you know, the second half of verse number 7. Que en realidad es la segunda mitad del versículo 7. You know, when I was doing this study, I'm like, why did they break the verses mid-sentence? Cuando yo estaba haciendo el estudio, yo me pregunté eh, por qué eh, separaron los versículos a medio, a, a media oración, a mitad de la, de la oración. Because it, it makes you lose the concept. Porque hace, te hace perder el concepto. Okay. So in verse number 8. En el versículo 8. He has lavished on us in all his wisdom and insight. Okay. So wisdom. What type of wisdom are you getting? Eh, Sabiduría, ¿qué tipo de sabiduría, sabiduría estás tú recibiendo? Should you be changing your wisdom from the world's way of thinking? ¿Será que debes de cambiar tu manera, tu sabiduría de la manera que piensa el mundo? Or to God's way of thinking. O a la forma de que Dios piensa. Let's go on to the next slide because we need this definition. Vamos a la siguiente diapositiva porque necesita, va, necesitamos la, esta definición. Okay, so insight or wisdom. Eh, el sabiduría is G5428 es el, la palabra G5428 okay it means number one understanding significa número uno entender number two knowledge and holy love of the will of God entonces significa número dos conocimiento y amor santo por la voluntad de Jehová, de Dios. Okay. So now, when you go back to verse 7 and 8. Ahora, cuando vas de regreso al versículo 7 y 8. This wealth that he's given us. Esto, esta, estas riquezas que él nos, él nos está dando. This grace that he's given us. Esta gracia que él nos está dando. That he's lavished on, about, on us. He, he's giving you, like, tons of it. Que él te está dando en abundancia. Okay. Um, In this wisdom and insight. En este eh, eh, sabiduría y conocimiento. Is knowledge of the holy love of God. Es, es amor, eh, amor santo. Es, es sabiduría y amor santo por la voluntad de Jehová. All right, so what's the holy love of God? Ahora, ¿cuál es el amor santo de Jehová? is that he had every right to destroy you. Es que él tenía todo el derecho de destruirte. Okay, but he doesn't because he loves you. Pero él no lo hace porque él te ama. But it doesn't mean he's going to let you back in his home. Pero esto no significa de que él te va a permitir entrar de, entrar de regreso a su casa. So he's giving you the, this wealth of knowledge. Ahora él te está dando... Eh, eh, 
este, este, esta sabiduría. And he's given you his son Yeshua. Y él te está dando a su hijo Yeshua. To give in, he gave us Yeshua as an example. Él nos dio a Yeshua como un ejemplo. One of the main reasons Yeshua the Messiah has come. Una de las, eh, 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 de las razones primordiales por la que Yeshua vino. Is to show you how to live your life. Es, fue para enseñarte cómo vivir tu vida. This is one of the main reasons he came. Esta es una de las eh, razones primordiales por la cual él so, vino. So people couldn't say, well, you don't know. En, para que así las personas eh, no dijeran, oh, tú no sabes. And Yeshua fully knows how to live as a person. Y Yeshua sabe completamente cómo vivir como un ser humano. O como una persona. So, in the beginning of verse number 7. Ahora en el comienzo del versículo 7. Rav Shaul was saying, you have to be in union with Yeshua. Eh, el apóstol Pablo, eh, Rab Shaul, está diciendo, tú debes de estar en unión con Yeshua. And the way that you're in union with him y la forma en que tú estás en unión con él is you have insight es que tú tienes eh, conocimiento into this holy love, en su amor santo. This sacrificial love. Ese amor que es de, de sacrificio. Okay, what our lesson was this past Shabbat. Okay, what our lesson was this past Shabbat. Lo que fue nuestra clase de, en, este, en el Shabbat que pasó. Okay, so if a parent doesn't want to uh, give up their, you know, their comfort li lifestyle. Si los padres no quieren entregar su vida confortable que llevan. But wants to keep sending their children to public school. Y quieren permitir que su, y quieren seguir mandando sus hijos a las escuelas públicas. Then you don't understand the sacrificial love. Entonces tú no entiendes el amor eh, que, eh, que fue por a través de un sacrificio. So that means you're not in union with Yeshua. Entonces eso significa de que tú no estás en unión con Yeshua. Yeshua left heaven to be one of us. Yeshua dejó el cielo para ser como uno de nosotros. And now in verse number 8. Y ahora en el versículo 8. He's He's saying that he's given us understanding of why he left heaven. Ahora él se está diciendo de que él nos está dando entendimiento del por qué él dejó el cielo. And this is what is sadly missing in the church. Y esto es lo que tristemente está faltando en la iglesia. They don't know anything about the word of God. Ellos no conocen nada sobre la palabra de Jehová. They want to dedicate their homes and their buildings to God, but they're not keeping the Sabbath holy. Ellos quieren dedicar sus casas y sus edificios a Jehová, pero ellos no están guardando eh, eh, la Torah. So here insight, ahora aquí el, el entendimiento, G5428, eh, G5428 Definition number one Definición número uno Understanding Entendimiento The laws are not too hard to understand Las leyes no son tan difícil de entender Especially if you're in union with Yeshua Especialmente si estás en unión con Yeshua Because you have insight, you have great understanding Porque tienes buen conocimiento Okay This is important as you progress through the rest of the book of Ephesians. Esto es importante mientras que progresas en el, a través del libro de Efesios. If you don't understand these beginning verses. Si tú no entiendes estos, estos versículos eh, eh, en el, del comienzo. You will come to an inaccurate conclusion. Tú vas a llegar a una conclusión eh, equivocada. And the, the sad part is, it's going to cost you your eternity. Y la, la, la parte más triste es que te va a costar tu eternidad. And Satan's laughing at you. Y Satanás está riendo hacia ti. You know, so if you don't want to go, come to Bible study. Si no quieres venir al estudio bíblico. You don't want to study the word of God each day. Tú no quieres estudiar la palabra de Jehová cada día. You let your children go to public school. Tú permites que tus hijos vayan a la escuela pública. You don't have understanding of the Holy One. Tú no tienes entendimiento del que es santo. So don't even come at all. Just sleep late on Saturday and eat sausage and bacon and eggs. Entonces ni siquiera vengas aquí. Quédate en tu casa durmiendo hasta tarde, comiéndote tus tocinos y, y tus salchichas y tu, y tu pan con tus huevos. Is everybody understanding what is being said here? 
¿Será que todos están entendiendo lo que se está dejando di y lo que se ha dicho aquí? Now let's go on to the next slide. Ahora sigamos a la siguiente diapositiva. It's, when you slow down to understand Ephesians, you're like, wow, this guy was teaching very high level. Eh, cuando te detienes a leer el libro de Efesios, tú vas a, a decir, wow, esta persona, esta, esta persona estaba enseñando a, en niveles muy profundos. And the people there in Ephesus were, were probably pretty smart. Y las personas allí en Éfesos eh, tal vez eran bien sab eh, tenían bastante sabiduría. Now let's read verse 1 through 9. Ahora vamos a leer el versículo del 1 al 9. One through, yes, Adriana. Insight into what? In intelligence. Well, well intelligence is a good word. In some of the, the Spanish translation, I'm being told. En algunas de las traducciones en español se me ha dicho. Is the word intelligence is used there. La palabra inteligencia es la que se ha, está, se ha usado allí. Well, what, what type of intelligence would he be saying you need? Ahora, ¿qué tipo de inteligencia es que él dirá que tú necesitas? Okay. Do you want the world's intelligence or do you want God's intelligence? ¿Tú, neces tú quieres la inteligencia del mundo o la inteligencia de Dios? We want Jehovah's intelligence and he says he's going to give you the world. Entonces, si tú quieres la inteligencia de Jehová, él te dará, te dará él dice entonces te dará el mundo. So, either way, you have to look at it as what type of intelligence do you want? De cualquier manera, tú tienes que ver cuál es la inteligencia que tú quieres. What type of intelligence would the Bible be speaking about compared to a secular book? Eh, ¿De qué tipo de inteligencia estaría hablando la Biblia comparado con el mundo secular? See, the Bible doesn't change. Vemos que la Biblia no cambia. The world is now calling homosexuality normal. Ahora el mundo está, es, 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 está hallando que... La homosexualidad es muy normal. Leviticus 18, verse 22 says it's abnormal. Leviticus 18, versículo 2 dice que eso es abnormal. It's demonic. 22. It's demonic. Eso es demoníaco. And Romans chapter 1 says it's demonic. En Romanos capítulo 1 dice eso es demon, demoníaco. And the Bible doesn't change. Y la Biblia no cambia. So what type of intelligence would he be speaking about to the Congregation at Ephesus. Ahora de qué tipo de inteligencia le estaría hablando a, la, a, la, a las personas en Éfeso. Now remember, they had those two major gods there. Ahora recuérdense de que ellos tenían esos dos dioses allá. Okay, Artemis of the Ephesians and Diana. Artemisa de los Efesios y Diana. Okay, so he's telling them get away from those that type of intelligence. Él está diciendo apártense de ese tipo de inteligencia. Be in union with Yeshua's type of intelligence. Set uno eh, y estar en unión con el tipo de inteligencia de Yeshua. Be as wise as a serpent. Ser sabio como la serpiente. And as gentle as a dove. Y um, gentle. Peaceful. Pasivo como la, como la paloma. Okay. So here it's what type of intelligence do you desire? Ahora aquí es qué tipo de inteligencia tú deseas. Now let's read verse 7 Ahora through 9. Ahora vamos a leer el versículo 7 al 9. In union with him, through the shedding of his blood, we are set free. Our sins are forgiven. This accords with the wealth of the grace he has lavished on us. In all his wisdom and insight, he has made known to us his secret plan, which by his own will, he destined beforehand in connection with the Messiah. So now that we know that what verse 8 means, Ahora que sabemos lo que dice el versículo 8, that he's given a, a tremendous amount of wisdom and uh, in intelligence, que le está dando una tremenda eh, cantidad de inteligencia y sabiduría. Now in verse number 9, Ahora en el versículo 9, now what's in verse number 9? Ahora que está en el versículo 9? It has Four parts to verse number nine. Ahora hay cuatro partes en el versículo nueve. He has made known to us his secret plan is part one. Eh, el, eh, let me read that in Spanish here. Dándonos a conocer el, el misterio de su voluntad. 
Ok. Según, yeah, según, su, yeah, según su voluntad. Ok. Uh, actually only has three parts. Which by his own will he designed beforehand. Porque por su propia voluntad él diseñó de antemano. And then part three is in connection with the Messiah. Y la parte tres es en conexión con el Mesías. He, he made known to us his will. Él dio a conocer a nosotros su voluntad. How do we to, the, to this day still understand the will of God? ¿Cómo es que nosotros hasta el día de hoy, hasta el sol de hoy, conocemos su voluntad o entendemos su voluntad? Well, you read your Bible. Bueno, tú lees tu Biblia. And Malachi 3.6 says, uh, Jehovah says, I don't change. Y en Malachia 3.6 dice, Jehovah, yo no cambio. Hebrews 13 says, Yeshua doesn't change. Hebreos 13 dice que Yeshua no cambia. And Yeshua said in the Gospels, I and the Father are one. Y Yeshua dice en el Gadeden, yo soy el Padre de uno. Okay, he said in the Gospel. Él dice en los Evangelios. Okay, I and the Father are one. Yo soy el Padre de uno. So he made known to us the, the mystery of his will. Él nos dio a conocer el misterio de su voluntad. Well, remember where he's preaching this word. Ahora recuérdense dónde es que él está predicando esta palabra. It was a huge city. Esto era una ciudad grande. It had two pagan, major pagan gods. Esto, esta, tenía, esta ciudad tenía dos dioses principales. So, when they established the congregation at Ephesus, entonces cuando establecieron la congregación en Éfeso, what were they doing every single Shabbat? ¿Qué estaban haciendo ellos cada Shabbat? What is read in every synagogue on every single Shabbat? ¿Qué es lo que se lee en cada sinagoga, en todas las sinagogas en cada Shabbat? The Torah of Moshe. La Torah de Moisés. That, why is that read in every single synagogue? ¿Por qué es que esta es leída en cada sinagoga? Why do we read it every single Shabbat here? ¿Por qué es que aquí la leemos cada Shabbat? Because you understand the will of God that way. Porque de esa manera tú entiendes la voluntad de Jehová. Okay, without the Torah, you don't understand the will of God. Sin la Torah, tú no entiendes la voluntad de Jehová. Adriana, you you got a frown on your face. Yes, I'm trying to figure out. Um, he was inspired by about the Messiah. <coughs> Say that again. I, I got a band underneath me. In union, yeah, he's talking about in union with him. Sí, él está hablando en unión con el Mesías. Because the reason is in union with him through the shedding of his blood. The Father didn't shed his blood. What we were talking about with predestination. Yeah. So, sort of like a connection there, like yes. <laughs> All right. So what what Adrian is talking about here, because I'm not passing out the mic. Eh, lo que la hermana Adriana nos está tratando de, de la pregunta que ella ha hecho. If you were in Bible study in the building, you'd get to hear all the questions perfectly. Si estuvieras en en la aquí en el estudio bíblico en el edificio pudieras así escuchar perfectamente cada una de las preguntas. And there's lots of snacks and muffins and every good thing to eat. Y, a, y aquí hay diferentes tipos de bocadillos. Okay. So, um, she's trying to understand verse 9 a little bit better. Ella está tratando de entender el versículo 9 mucho, mejor. Okay, so let's read verse 9 in the CJB. 
Vamos a leer el versículo 9 en la Biblia completa judía. He has made known to us his secret plan which by his own will he's destined beforehand in connection with the Messiah. Okay? So we have destination, predestination. Tenemos la predestinación. Because it was predetermined in the Garden of Eden. Porque fue predeterminado en el Jardín del Edén. That we would know the Father at this point through his son Yeshua. Que nosotros conocerí, conoceríamos al Padre hasta en este punto a través de Yeshua. Because the, the virgin would conceive and give birth to a son. Porque la virgen concebiría y daría luz al hijo. So he made known to us his secret plan. Entonces él nos permitió conocer el, el plan secreto. And when Yeshua said, I wish to gather you under my wings, he said under his seat seal. Cuando Yeshua dijo, yo quisiera eh, eh, socorrerlos a, a, bajo de mis alas, él se estaba refiriendo a sus tzitzits. Because he said under the knaf, under the wing, which porque, is where the tzitzit is. Porque él dijo debajo del knaf, que es debajo del ala, eh, esto es allí donde se encuentra el tzitzit. And Yeshua came to teach the word of God. Y Yeshua vino fue para enseñar la palabra de Jehová. He didn't come to start a new religion. Él no vino a, a enseñar una nueva religión. He didn't, he didn't come to start Christianity. Él no vino a, a, a comenzar el cristianismo. He didn't come to start the Catholic Church. Él no vino a, a empezar el, el, la iglesia católica. He came to come call people back to the one true religion that's called Judaism. Él vino a llamar a todos a la, a, la, a, la, a la religión verdadera que es el judaísmo. That's the only true religion. Es la única eh, religión real. Biblical Judaism. El judaísmo bíblico. Not rabbinic Judaism, no, biblical. No rabínico, no el judaísmo rabínico, sino es el, raíz, el, el judaísmo bíblico. Every other religion is fake. Cualquier otra de, 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 de religión es falsa. So if you're going to church on Sunday, you're fake. Entonces si estás y, y, yendo a la iglesia el domingo, tú eres un falso. If you're a Buddhist, you're fake. Si eres un budista, eres falso. If you're a Muslim, you're fake. Si eres musulmán, eres falso. This is why they're trying to kill the Jews. Por eso es que están tratando de matar a los judíos. Okay. So here, um, in connection with, in verse number nine, in connection with the Messiah, Ahora aquí en el versículo 9 en conexión con el Mesías. Shaul is saying we now know the Lord's perfect will. Ahora Pablo está diciendo nosotros ahora conocemos la voluntad perfecta del Padre. How do we know his perfect will? ¿Cómo es que conocemos su voluntad perfecta? Yeshua said in Matthew 5 verse 18. Yeshua dijo en Mateo capítulo 5, versículo 18. Not one jot or tittle will be missing from the law until heaven and earth pass away. Ni una, ni una, ni una tilde, ni una jota, eh, ni una coma pasará de, eh, eh, pasará a de la ley hasta que eh, pase el cielo y la tierra. So that would be the Torah. Entonces eso sería la Torah. So now, the mystery of his will, the mystery of his will. Ahora el misterio de su voluntad. Is no longer a mystery. Ya no es, ya no es un misterio. Remember who he's writing to. Recuérdense a quién es que él está escribiendo. This is a great city. Esto es una, una ciudad grande. It's a pagan city. Es una ciudad pagana. They were not going to church every single, any days of the week. They were worshiping pagan gods. Ellos no estaban yendo a la, a, la, a la iglesia cualquier día de la semana. No, ellos estaban adorando a dioses paganos. So now Shaul is saying to us. Ahora Pablo nos está diciendo a nosotros. By, in connection with Messiah, you now understand God's perfect will. En conexión con el Mesías, ahora ustedes entienden la voluntad perfecta de Jehová. Okay. Now well, let's move on to the next slide. Vamos a la siguiente dia vamos a, a, a la siguiente diapositiva. Let's look at verse 9 again. Vamos a leer el versículo 9 una vez más. He has made known to us his secret plan, which by his own will he designed beforehand in connection with the Messiah. Okay, in verse number 9, en el verso, en el verso 9, we see in the CJB, we see in the CJB, 
vemos en el en el, la Biblia completa judía is the word design. Es la palabra que se encuentra allí des, diseñado. Now it's very important to understand the word design. Es muy importante entender la palabra diseñado. Because the design has a form and a function. Porque un diseño tiene una forma y una función. Just like languages have form and function. Asimismo como los idiomas que tienen una forma y tienen una función. Just like um, uh, you get a, a, jigs a puzzle, it doesn't have any form until you put it together. Es como un rompecabezas, no, no, tiene, una form, no tiene una forma hasta que lo, 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 lo haces, lo, lo conformas, lo juntas. So now in verse number nine, Ahora en el versículo 9, he's talking about the design. Él está hablando del diseño. What is a design? ¿Qué es un diseño? You have to ask your, yourself that question. Tú debes de hacerte personalmente esa pregunta. How, how did the Lord design all this? ¿Cómo es que el Señor diseñó todas estas cosas? Well, we talked about it last week. Bueno, hablamos la semana pasada de In esto. the Garden of Eden. En el Jardín del Edén. He talked about the virgin birth. Él habló del, del parto virginal. Jehovah the Father already knew in the Garden of Eden. Jehová el Padre ya sabía que en el Jardín del Edén. This was his plan, his design. Este fue su plan, este fue el diseño. Because Adam and Chava... Porque Adón y Java, they broke the law. Ellos quebrantaron la ley. So the father came up with another plan, his design. Entonces el padre y, y, te hizo otra ley, diseñó. To bring us back to him. Para así traernos de regreso a él. That llevarnos each, de regreso a él. That each person would have a personal salvation. Para que cada persona tuviera entonces una, una salvación personal. This is what Shaul is talking about in verse number 9. De eso es que Pablo está hablando en el versículo 9. He, do, he made this design, this plan. Él hizo este diseño, este plan. And in Proverbs 8, Yeshua talks about himself, right? Y en el versículo... In Proverbs chapter 8. Y en Proverbios capítulo, eh, versículo 8... Yeshua talks about the, the plan how the Lord made the universe. Yeshua habla como, habla el mismo como el Padre hizo, el, conformó el universo. In the seven days of creation. En los siete días de la creación. There's a design of how far the water can go. Hay un diseño de qué tan lejos puede alcanzar el, las aguas. Where the birds can go. Donde las aves pueden ir. Where the fish can go. Donde los, eh, pe los peces pueden ir. Where the mountains go. Donde las montañas pueden ir. So there's a design. Entonces eso es un diseño. If there's a design for the world, why, why shouldn't people have a design? Entonces si hay un diseño para el mundo, ¿por qué es que, por, por qué no deberán las, los seres humanos también tener un diseño? This is a great discussion for our Christian friends. Esto es una buena, un buen debate para nuestros amigos cristianos. And the messianics who don't preach the law. Y los mesiánicos que no predican la ley. If everything else has a design, Ahora, si todo tiene un diseño, the stars, the moon, the sun have a design. The stars, the moon, and the, you know, the, sun, the, the sun, the moon, and the stars are there for times, seasons, and days. El sol, la luna, y las estrellas están ahí para en los tiempos de la, las estaciones. Why? Y días. Why shouldn't each human have to follow a plan? Entonces, ¿por qué no deben los seres humanos también seguir el plan? This is what Shaul is talking about in verse number nine. A eso es que se refiere Pablo en el versículo nueve. He chose his words carefully. Él escogió sus palabras eh, detalladamente. It is we who have limited foresight and vocabulary. Estos somos nosotros que tenemos una mentalidad pobre y un vocabulario pobre también. And we don't study. Y nosotros no estudiamos. 
And this is what Shaul said to Timothy. Y esto fue lo que Pablo le dijo a Timoteo. Study to show yourself approved to God. Estudia para que así te, te muestres aprobado a Jehová. So you have to study the design is what he's saying in verse 9. En el versículo 9 lo que, lo que está diciendo es tú debes de estudiar el diseño. And the, the last part of verse 9 is really important. Y la, la última parte del versículo 9 es muy importante. And this is what the Gentiles totally miss. Y esto es lo que lo, los, los cristianos completamente eh, pasan por alto in connection with Messiah not with Paul en conexión con el Mesías no con Pablo this is what you know you, if you're arguing with a Christian si estás en un debate con un cristiano they'll constantly quote these letters ellos constantemente se van a, a van a recitar estas cartas they'll never really quote Yeshua the Messiah. Mas ellos nunca van a recitar lo que dijo Yeshua el Mesías. They're in connection with Shaul. Ellos están en conexión con Pablo. But Shaul is saying I'm in connection with Messiah. Pero Pablo está diciendo yo estoy en conexión con el Mesías. I'm in connection with the plan. Yo estoy en, en conexión con el plan. You have to be in union with him in verse 7. En el versículo 7 tú tienes que estar en, en unión con él. So was Yeshua circumcised? ¿Será que Yeshua era circuncidado? Then every man's got to be circumcised. Entonces cada hombre debe ser circuncidado. If you're in union with Messiah. Si estás en unión con el Mesías. Well, we don't have to be circumcised anymore. Oh, pero nosotros ya no debemos ser circuncidados. Are you in union with the secret plan? ¿Estás tú en unión con el plan secreto? Or is it still secret to you and it's not open to you? O tal vez es solamente secreto, un secreto guardado para ti y no está y no es fue no fue abierto para ti. You see what happens when you just stop and you start talking about this? ¿Tú te das cuenta lo que sucede cuando te detienes y paras de hablar de esto? How everything in your life can be touched. Cómo cada área de tu vida puede ser tocada. This is why I encourage people to always, especially on Shabbat, talk about the word. Por eso es que yo les les sugiero que en el Shabbat y, y um, encourage um, hay una palabra animo. animo. Por eso es que yo le animo para que en el Shabbat hablen de la palabra. But here, here's most people on Shabbat. Aquí está la mayoría de las personas en el Shabbat. Searching YouTube. What? No, not You need some coffee? Huh? She's breaking. She asked me if I wanted something to drink. Cafe con leche, eight sugars for him. <laughs> All right. So, this is why Shabbat is a day to set aside for the Father. Por eso es que el, el sábado es un día apartado para el Padre. Because you're getting in connection with Messiah and the Father. Porque estás entrando en conexión con el Mesías y el Padre. You're making known the plan for, for his plan for your life. Se está dejando, él está mostrando su plan para tu vida. By understanding his word. Por entender sus palabras. But if you're not reading. Pero si no estás leyendo. You're not studying. No estás estudiando. Then you're not Understanding the secret plan of God. Entonces, tú no estás entendiendo el plan secreto de Jehová. And you're going to hell. Y te vas a ir al infierno. Because you steal from God. Porque si robas de Dios. He's going to ask a payment later on when you get up to his house. Cuando llegues a su casa, él va a demandar el pago. He's going to say to you, um, you're going to pay your bill before you get in. Él te va a decir, bueno, vas a pagar tu, tu deuda antes de entrar. And you're going to be naked. Y vas a estar desnudo. You're not going to have your credit card. No vas a tener tu, tu tarjeta de crédito. And you're not going to be able to say, can I give it to you later? No vas a poder decirle, ¿será que te lo puedo eh, devolver luego? So that's why verse 7 starts with in union. Por eso es que el versículo 7 empieza diciendo en unión. You have to be in union with God your choice Tú tienes que estar en unión con Jehová con Dios este es tu eh, tu derecho tu escogencia I can't make that choice for you Yo no puedo eh, te, eh, hacer eh, escoger eh, hacer eh, eh, esa decisión por ti My job is to teach Mi trabajo es enseñar Your job is to keep your eyes open 
Tu trabajo es mantener tus ojos abiertos. Learn each Shabbat. LA y aprender en cada Shabbat. But all during the week, you're, you're supposed to start with the word and end with the word. Pero en la semana, tú también debe, tú estás supuesto a empezar con la palabra y terminar con ella también. Then the plan is not secret anymore. Entonces ya el plan no sería secreto más. Do you need some? No, I'm good. Okay. 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 Now let's read verse 1 through uh, 9 again. Ahora vamos a leer versículo 9 una vez más. Is everybody getting something? In this massive crowd here. <laughs> Feels like old times. In union with him, through the shedding of his blood, we are set free. Our sins are forgiven. This accords with the wealth of the grace. He lavished on us. In all his wisdom and insight, he has made known to us his secret plan. By his own will, he designed before and in connection with the Messiah and will put into effect when the time is ripe his plan to place everything in heaven and on earth under the Messiah's headship. Okay? So people get stuck on verse 7. We've been set free. Entonces las personas se estancan en el versículo 7 y dicen, oh, pero fui, y nosotros estamos en libertad. Yeah, you've been set free this go to a silly church for 30 years and not learn anything. Oh, sí, estás en libertad, pero te vas a una iglesia por 30 años y no has aprendido nada. Learn more about God in one day than you did in 30 years in a church. Aprendiste más de Jehová en un en un día que en los 30 años que estuviste en iglesia. But with that understanding. Ahora con ese entendimiento. What were you doing for those 30 years? ¿Qué estabas tú haciendo durante esos 30 años? Are the pastors really to blame? ¿Será que los pastores son los que en, en realidad deben ser, eh, des, eh, deben ser lo, um, blamed, um, los culpables? Or are you to blame? ¿O será que tú debes ser el culpable? Because you were lazy. Porque tú fuiste eh, sonso, no, eh, flojo. You were comfortable. Era, te estabas confortable. But in your spirit, you knew that you really weren't in union with Yeshua. Pero en tu espíritu, tú sabías que tú no estabas en unión con Yeshua. Next slide. Siguiente diapositiva. Let's key now on the whole, let's read verse 7 through 10. Vamos a leer el versículo 7 al 10. In union with him through the shedding of his blood, we are set free. Our sins are forgiven. This accords with the wealth of the grace he has given, uh, has lavished on us. In all his wisdom and insight, he has made known to us his secret plan, which by his own will he designed beforehand in connection with the Messiah and will put into effect when the time is right, his plan to place everything in heaven and on earth under the Messiah's headship. Amen? So we're keying on verse number 10 now. Estamos haciendo énfasis en el versículo 10. Let's read verse 10 again. Vamos a leer versículo 10 una vez más. And we'll put into effect when the time is ripe his plan to place everything in heaven and on earth under the Messiah's headship. Amen? Amen. So now we're looking at the when the time is ripe. Ahora estamos viendo en la parte que dice cuando el tiempo sea correcto. This was a question I had that doesn't have an answer, but maybe we'll open it up for discussion. Este Get ready, pregunta, Javier. Esta es una pregunta que yo tenía que no tengo una respuesta y estoy vamos a dejar esto abierto para así eh, poder escuchar, tener una discusión, un debate. Let's read the first half of verse 10. Vamos a, le a, a leer la primera la, la primera mitad del versículo 10. And we'll put into effect when the time is right. Y pondremos en efecto cuando el tiempo sea correcto. The question I had and I don't have an answer. La pregunta que yo tenía que el no, que la cual no tengo una respuesta. Why did Messiah come then? Why? Why did he come then? ¿Por qué el Mesías vino, el Mesías vino en ese momento? There's no prophecy that says this date will come. Eh, no hay no hay una profecía que diga este día él vendrá 
space. I'm going to get to it in a second. Because it says, you will put into effect when the time is right. Dice que será puesto en efecto cuando el tiempo sea correcto. Now, ripe, ripe, like a fruit ripe. being a... Ripe, cuando, cuando esté maduro. Es como una fruta, discúlpeme. Now, the only thing that comes to mind right now... Uh, lo único que viene a mi mente ahora... Is the book of Daniel. Es el libro de Daniel. That the star had to be in the position. Que la estrella de, tenía que estar en posición. Certain planets line up to make that star position in the sky. Que algunos planetas deben de conformarse eh, en, de cierta forma para que así esa estrella pueda verse. But nobody had telescopes. Pero nadie tenía un telescopio. Nobody could see that far out into space. Nadie podría ver así de tan lejos hasta en el espacio. But weren't the, the Magi, uh, they didn't have that, but they had some sort of, I don't know the history, I haven't read the little that I know. They had some way to, they studied the stars, they were studying the universe with the resources that they have. Well, you have the book of Daniel. Bueno, tenemos el libro de Daniel. They are also reading some of other Daniel's writings that has not been placed in the Bible. También ellos estuvieron otro, eh, leyendo otros libros de Daniel que no están en, el, en la Biblia. But what, the Lord could have made another star. Pero será que Dios pudo haber hecho otra, otra estrella. But it, it says in verse 10, he will put into effect when the time is right. Él dice el versículo 10, será puesto en efecto cuando el tiempo ya sea maduro. This is, you know, a good, like, Shabbat, Arab Shabbat when you're at home with your, your family. Esto es como el Arab Shabbat o el viernes en la noche cuando estás en casa con tu familia. Maybe I'll start coming up with hard questions for a Shabbat study for your homes. ¿Será que eh, tal vez empiece yo a, a comenzar a hacer preguntas difíciles para que si usted puedan eh, eh, estudiarlas los viernes en la noche? What do you think, Oscar? You had your hand up. Okay. So for us, I think we know we're going to have a day, but we know what's going to happen before it. Okay, so Oscar's saying we don't know the day. El hermano Oscar está diciendo, no conocemos el día. But we have like a season. Pero tenemos una temporada, una estación. But that season is debatable. Pero ese, esa temporada. It's a great discussion. Es una, una muy buena discusión. The Moedim have a set day. He's going to come back on a, on a Moedim. Él va, él va a regresar en una, fie, en una de, los, de las fiestas, Días Santos. Well, he's going to come back on Teruah. Él va a regresar en Teruah. But what Teruah? Pero en cuál Teruah? ¿Qué Teruah? Well, that's why I, I think verse 10 is very interesting. Por eso es que yo creo que el versículo 10 es muy interesante. Because it says, and he will put, and will put into effect when the time is right. Porque dice, y va a ser puesto en efecto cuando el tiempo ya sea maduro. Like we can see, think the time is right cuando, today. 
podemos ver y pensar que el tiempo está, está maduro ahora. Go ahead. But when, you know, the word ripe is very interesting. La palabra maduro, eh, maduro es muy interesante. Because if you pick the fruit one day too early. Porque si recoges el fruto un día muy, un día que es, es, es muy temprano, muy, um, muy temprano, antes de, antes de su tiempo. It won't, some fruit won't ripen off the branch. Algunas frutas no se van a modurar ya después que está, se han eh, 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 quitado de la mata. You gotta pick it just right. Tienes que tomarlas en el tiempo correcto. Like we go back 2,000 years ago. Ahora vamos de regreso 2,000 años atrás. 2,019 years ago. 2,019 años atrás. Why was Messiah, what were, why was he born then? ¿Por qué él nació en ese, en ese momento? Why that year? ¿Por qué ese año? That's in Jeremiah, and that's way before Messiah. But you say he came to the lost tribes of Israel. That doesn't have to do with anything. Right? It, it has some things to do with it, yes. So we're done, just, just no, it's a great... We're confused, and so it's something to do. Yosef? Uh, wow, my mind is bringing me back to the point, like, Messiah, the Lord knows everything. Says, he sings, he knows everything. We see through the Bible, the history of the Jewish people, we've been so bad. And he knew that at some point nobody could have paid the price, but only the son. And he already, since he knows the time, he's out of the time. We live in time. He lives out of time. So He's omnipresent. He's, he's omnipresent. So he knew, like, this is my right time now, because by that time, this will happen. And if he don't die by that time, I have to destroy this world again. Because the sin was so much and the disobedience was found so much into the people that he had to do that. There is not a sad time, of course, because he still is God. He still loves us and he still has given us that opportunity to repent and go back to him. But if he doesn't see, he's going to probably say, I guess now is your time to go again. Well, I, I agree with what you say. Yo estoy de acuerdo con lo que tú dices. But what I'm looking for is... Why that, why that particular Passover, Pesach? ¿Por qué en particular en esa Pascua? Why not the next one? Por, no por qué la próxima. Or another one that would give them three days in the grave. E, o una que, repeat that. Another one that, where he would have to wait to be three days in the grave. O otra que él tuvo que tal vez esperar por tres días en el Seol. Why not wait en el, till... En, el, en la tumba. Why not wait till he's 40 to die? O tal vez por qué no esperar? Eh, well, def, I, I think about Gamatria when Robert says that. Por qué no esperar hasta 40? But Gamatria is not scripture. Es una, la Gamatria no es escritural, pero mi, me, yo personal, eh, quien está traduciendo. It gives you some other insight. Eh, pero me vino la Gamatria en el momento por los números. But why didn't he wait till he was 40? Pero por qué él no esperó hasta que estuviera 40 años de edad. Isaac waited till he was 40 to get married. Isaac se esperó hasta que tenía 40 años para casarse. And he married somebody 20 years his younger. Y él se casó con alguien 20 años menor que él. I'll get to you in a second.
Three and a half years. Three and a half. Why three and a half? <laughs> no, these, these are some things I muse about because there's no answer. Go ahead, turn it on. I, st I still cannot stop thinking about number-wise, bring it back to the numbers. Oh, the Gematria will play a significant it, it, it's part. Something to play there in its part because it's bring. Why three, 33? Why 33? Why three and a half? Uh huh. They're still missing something there. Why that many months? <sighs> Joshua? Rabbi got me thinking on this one. It's good. I have thinking about the Lord's word is great. Because then you, you start. Go ahead, Mr. Yeho Yehoshua. Uh, shalom, everybody. Shalom. Uh, now you cry, right? Uh, anyway. <laughs> my mother, do what my mother used to say to him. If you know, I'll give you something real to cry about. Yeah. Now you can cry. The first question was about why Shaul is talking about the the particular time that the 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 um that everything's gonna put in effect, right? When the time is right. Well on the on on Matthew twenty four, he's talking about the fig the fig tree. And he's talking about when it's ready. You already know when then the summer is coming, is coming, and you know when you see the the tree and the fruit, you gotta be know that the summer is is near. You know when the summer is there. That's when the fruit. Is. And he's particular in that particular verse on Matthew, the summer and the is is is. He's talking about the Olam Hava. Because when when we when we read the whole thing is when he's talking about the end of times, and and Shaul is talking about the time is gonna be ripe. So it's about that time with the machine. But when you ask after that, that about the time why Mashiach has to come, and why to the thirty to the till that age, we already know that you know his priests would have to start at thirty. But um, to die three three years after, or three years and a half after, you mentioned Daniel. Daniel says this particular date. He says the machine is going to be killed in this particular date. You know, I mean, he doesn't say date, but he say he say days. Oh, he said cut off. Cut off, and then he got to come back. But when the 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 key is. Why did it have to start at 30? La clave es, eh, ¿por qué debió empezar a los 30? Why, why, priest, well, no? why, why couldn't he have started his ministry at 37? ¿Por qué no pudo él comenzar su ministerio a los 37? Or 36 and a half. O a los 36 y medio. But, but, but every, every, not everybody, but we already know that Cohen start his ministry at 30. Can start... At another age, he started training at 25, but at 30, he started being common. And, uh, you know, he can be able to pass the current. Right, but it, but uh, he will be cut off in the mid part. But why that? Why that? That particular year? Why not earlier? Iba a ser cortado en en tiempo en medio tiempo, pero Por qué no, eh, por qué no en ese tiempo? Why not? Por en ese ten, año. Why not ten years earlier? No, po, y, 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 y por qué no diez años anterior? Now, what, what I'm trying to get you to do is think. Lo que estoy tratando es de hacer es que pensar. Because that's the whole objective of the lesson. Porque este es el objetivo de la clase. <laughs> okay, putting all the puzzle pieces together. O juntando todas las piezas del rompecabezas. Okay. Why not be born 10 years earlier than that? ¿Por qué no nacer 10 años anterior de, de, que, de ese momento? You know, it's something very interesting. Es algo muy interesante. I used to say Jehovah has a my, my, point is, my point is that we, are, we already know that if he comes, 
he didn't come earlier because we he's not gonna be it's like it's like the question why he 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 being the donkey you know even in the in the in the phrase because he gotta come in a horse too at the end right so if you ready if if we're ready for him for Messiah he gotta come in the horse right but if, if but because we wasn't ready he came in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good discussion. Okay, now, now let's move on to the next. Ahora eh, es muy interesante la discusión, pero vamos a, a seguir con, eh, más, eh, a, a seguir con la clase. All right, let's move on to section number four. Vamos a seguir con la sección número cuatro. Let me turn this down. I turned it up way too high. That. Section number four. Section number four is verse 11 and 12. Es el versículo 11 y 12. Now the other part was a good exercise. La, la otra parte fue un ejercicio muy bueno. Maybe at your Arab Shabbat you can have a good discussion. Why did he come that time? Ahora, eh, tal vez ustedes en el Erev Shabbat, al abrir el Shabbat, pueden tener una discusión por qué él vino en es, ese tiempo específicamente. Now, Yehoshua was pointing out his end of the ministry had to be at 33. Yehoshua estaba a, a, eh, señalando de que el final de su ministerio fue a los 33 años. So why not start the ministry 10 years earlier in the, in the, the sequence of time, not what... He's born at the zero year. Why, why not born negative 10? Eh, eh, el, ¿Por qué no comenzar eh, eh, el ministerio en secuencia de, de los años? Eh, sabemos que eh, él comenzó en el año cero, pero ¿por qué no comenzar en el año eh, negativo 10 o 10 negativo? Does it have anything to do with God was silent for 400 years? ¿Será que eso sea que estábamos eh, en, en esclavitud por 400 años? I'm getting you to think. These are the things that I start thinking about. Estas son las cosas de la cual yo empiezo a pensar. I like to get deep and go and boink, 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 boink. A mí me gusta profundizar y ir tomando partes y partes. See, that's why I like people that love the Word of God. Ve, eso es lo porque a mí me gusta las personas que aman la palabra de Jehová. Well, also, also that I can talk with them. Also that I can talk with in English. Y también que yo pueda hablar con ellos en inglés. Because doing translation, it just slows it down and the, you know, intellectual conversations yeah. need to be done in one language. Y también al traducir se pierde mucho tiempo y se pierden muchas palabras y, la, y esa conversación intelectual debe de ser terminada en cierto tiempo. Yo creo que esta relación Tem a ver com a relação do período do Egito, que eles passaram no Egito. Que é, foi 400 anos, mas na realidade eles saíram por 430. I think that has to do the, 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 the part that, um, the, that he started his ministry at 30, I think it has to do with the, the, the time of slavery, which they were in... Uh, in Egypt, in slavery for 400 years, but when they got out, it was 430. Yes, yeah, so why not start his ministry 30 years earlier? Sí, mas agora, por que no comenzar un ministerio 30 años anterior, primero? But mas, still mas end at 30. Mas ainda, ainda está en no, 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 los 30. All right, end at 33, uh, I mean, why? O que está falando aquí es por qué? I mean, there's no solid answer. I mean, but there's there's seasons. No, no, tengo una respuesta um, sólida, pero ten ten estaciones. But this is why you can get a you know a good discussion going on, you know, after you enter into Shabbat. Con eso aquí que que estamos a, aprendiendo hoy, que estamos falando, ten, puede tener un, una buena una, una buena discusión eh, en el principio del Shabbat en su casa. Pick a topic and really expand upon Você it. Puede, a, a tomar un tópico, pegar un tópico y, y, y falar de él con, con su familia y profundizar en él. Yeah. No, I, I want to 
Well, I have, well, I have to pray about it to see, uh, you know, because it, it should be a choice that you're already making. Esto debería ser una decisión que ya ustedes deberían estar haciendo. See, you know, really becoming a, a Hebrew follower of Yeshua is a life-changing experience that you should go through. Eh, en realidad, el, el ser un seguidor eh, eh, judío de, eh, y, seguir, y ser un seguidor de Yeshua es una experiencia de la vida que tú quieras hacer. This is one area I agree with the Orthodox. Esa es una área de la que yo uh, eh, eh, estoy de acuerdo con los ortodoxos. The, the men get together and they, they go deep into the word all day long. Yeah. Y los hombres se juntan y, y pueden hablar de la palabra y profundizar en ella de, todo el día. And in other cultures, they can watch soccer all day long but then drink all day long, but they can't do anything else all day long. En, la, en otras culturas, los hombres pueden ver el partido de fútbol todo el día, pueden beber todo el día, mas no pueden hacer otras cosas todo el día. And that's why their countries are not blessed. Y por eso es que las, las naciones no son bendecidas, los países no son bendecidos. It took a lot of heart and courage to come here and clear the land. Fue, tom, fue tomó eh, mucho tiempo y mucho eh, de determinación y coraje de... de venir limpiar la tierra to chop a tree down by hand cortar una mata de de a, a mano and then to take the stump out by an ox and you y te puedes sacar el, 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 la raíz de la de, del árbol con bueyes y con sus car con los las los um, las herramientas que usan enough that you can make a farm enough land make a farm. Y suficiente eh, tierra para crear una granja. Is, it takes courage. Esto toma valor. It takes blessings from the Lord. Toma, esto lleva, eh, eh, toma bendiciones de Jehová. Because they came here to worship their God freely. Porque ellos vinieron aquí y fue a adorar a su Dios eh, libremente. And now we're given the opportunity to do the same thing. Y ahora a nosotros se nos ha dado la oportunidad de hacer lo mismo. But people spend 30 minutes with the Lord, you know, entering in, and that's that. Eh, la, hay personas que pasan 30 minutos eh, entrando en, en, con, en, en Shabbat con Jehová, ya, y ahí se acabó. And they want to say bad things about the homosexuals. Y quieren decir cosas malas de los homosexuales. You're just a damn hypocrite. Tú simplemente eres un hipócrita. But let's go back to this study. Pero vamos de regreso al estudio. Okay. Because I'm all about, you know, making disciples of all nations. Porque yo, me tra lo, lo, que, lo que yo hago es hacer discípulos de todas las naciones. I wish everybody had a, an insatiable thirst for God's word. Yo, yo, desea, yo desea, deseo que todos te, tendrían... Una, una sed insaciable por la palabra de Jehová. Then we would have a better place to live. Y así, y, y luego tendríamos un mejor lugar para vivir. Yes.
Did those other people not have a soul? ¿Será que las otras personas no tienen un alma? Aren't we children of Adam and Chava? No somos nosotros hijos de Adón y Chava o de Adán y Eva. Don't we have all wisdom of knowledge of good and evil? No tenemos nosotros todo el conocimiento del bien y el mal. We choose. Nosotros escogemos. Agreed. That's why our job is so important. Por eso es que nuestro trabajo es tan importante. And your light, wherever you are, whether it be at work or even shopping, is important. Y que seas tú la luz, eh, será en tu trabajo, o aún así cuando vas eh, de compras. How you handle yourself in public reflects God's kingdom. Y cómo tú tratas en el público contigo misma, eso refleja el reino de Jehová. So the church should say nothing about the homosexuals. Entonces la iglesia no debería decir nada mal de los homosexuales. If they're not keeping God's law. Si ellos no, ellos no, de, eh, si ellos no están guardando las Cause, leyes de Jehová. Because you're nothing but a damn hypocrite. Porque no, tú no eres más que solo un hipócrita. And Satan's laughing. Y Satanás se está riendo. And because you're a hypocrite. Y porque eres un hipócrita. Let's read verse 11 and 12. Vamos a leer el versículo 11 y 12. Section number 4, verse 11 and 12. Sección número 4, versículo 11 y 12. Also in union with him we are given an inheritance. We who were picked in advance according to the purpose of the one who affects everything in keeping with the decision of his will so that we who earlier had put our hope in the Messiah would bring him praise commensurate with his joy. Amen? Amen. So here... Verse 11 starts once again with in union with him. Aquí el versículo 11 nuevamente empieza diciendo en unión con él. How are you in union with the Messiah? ¿Cómo estás tú en unión con el Mesías? How many parts of your life are in union with him? ¿Cuántas partes de tu vida están en unión con él? Okay. There's 34 different categories of the law. Hay 34 diferentes categorías de la ley. And how many parts of that are, the, are for you? ¿Y cuántas partes de esas son para ti? And what can make you lose your inheritance? ¿Y qué puede hacer que tú pierdas tu her tu heredad? Can open disobedience make you lose your inheritance? ¿Será que tu desobediencia abierta puede hacer que tú pierdas tu herencia? What if you don't know? ¿Qué tal si tú no sabes? Can that still make you lose your inheritance? ¿Será que eso también puede permitir que tú pierdas tu herencia? Well, once you're told the truth, let the truth set you free. Bueno, una vez que tú se te dice la verdad, permite que la verdad te haga libre. Now, here in verse 11, Aquí en el 11 let, let's read the first uh, part of the sentence again. Vamos a leer la primera parte de la oración. You, you just... One, two, yeah. Yeah, they're turning off their gear downstairs because all they last is for an hour. Which is good. In union with him, we were given an inheritance. Okay? Your inheritance comes with being in union with the Lord. Tu herencia viene o tu heredad viene por estar en unión con Yeshua. O okay. Con Dios. Will Jehovah give an inheritance to those who follow Islam? ¿Será que Jehová le da una herencia a aquellos que siguen la, 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 el Islam? Okay. No, he's not going to give the Islamic people an inheritance. No, él no les va a dar a los, a los islámicos una all, herencia. All the Christians are saying, well, of course not, they're not going to give it to people who follow Islam. Y los cristianos dirían, oh, pero de, de verdad que no se lo van a dar a uno que sigue el Islam. And then, then, who, who is going to get an inheritance? Entonces, ¿quién es que va a, a, a obtener esa her herencia? Be, that would be brothers and sisters of Yeshua. Estos serían los hermanos e y hermanas de Yeshua. And who did Yeshua say are his brothers and sisters? ¿Y quién dijo Yeshua que eran sus hermanos e y hermanas? Those who do what the Father in heaven wants. 
aquellos que hacen la voluntad que, del Padre que está en el cielo. That's an important understanding for inheritance. Esto es una parte muy importante para la herencia. If the Father is not going to give an inheritance to Satan worshipers. Y el Padre no le va a dar una herencia a adoradores de Satanás. He's not going to give us an inheritance to somebody who's following the world's ways. Él no le va a dar una herencia a aquellos que están siguiendo las 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 maneras de la del mundo. So in verse 11, en el versículo 11, Shaul is saying we were given an inheritance. Pablo está diciendo a nosotros se nos fue dada una herencia. How do you get that inheritance? ¿Cómo es que tú recibes o se te es otorgada esa esa herencia? You leave following the world's ways. Tú para de seguir las, las, la, la, los caminos del mundo. And start following Yeshua in spirit and in truth. Y empiezas a seguir a Yeshua en espíritu y en verdad. Okay. You have to become his brother or sister. Tú tienes que ser su, y, y, ser, y, y pasar a ser su hermano o su hermana. This concept is needed for the rest of the letter. Este concepto es necesario para el resto de la carta. It is needed for what we already studied in Galatians. Es también necesario para lo que ya hemos estudiado en, en Gálatas. Because you have to understand who gets an inheritance. Porque tú tienes que entender quién es que recibe una herencia. The world will give an inheritance to, uh, with their rules. El mundo dará una herencia de acuerdo a sus reglas. And God will give an inheritance with his rules. Y Dios dará una herencia con sus reglas. So if you're not following his rules, entonces si tú no estás siguiendo sus reglas, then you might get an inheritance here. Tal vez se te dé la herencia aquí. I want my inheritance in heaven. Yo quiero mi herencia en el cielo. Going on to the next slide. Vamos a la siguiente diapositiva. Hello. There we are. Okay, let me move to the next slide. There we go. Okay, let's read verse 11 again. Vamos a leer el versículo 11 una vez más. Also in union with him we were given an inheritance. We were we who were picked in advance according to the purpose of the one who affects everything in keeping with the decision of his will. Okay, now we, we see the phrase picked in advance. Ahora vemos la, la frase que dice eh, escogido de antemano. In many translations that, that's the word predetermined again. En muchas, en, en otras uh, traducciones, vemos que esto des, diría la palabra predeterminado. And we spent all of last week studying this word. Y pasamos eh, toda la semana, la semana pasada, estudiando esta palabra. Okay. Predetermined is G4309 again. La palabra predeterminado es la, eh, es la G4309. It, it is a... Definition number one, decided beforehand. Esa es la, la uh, definición número uno, decidido de antemano. Okay. Um, appointed beforehand. Eh, señalado de antemano. So here what it's saying in verse 11. Ahora lo que le está diciendo en el versículo 11. It was predetermined. Fue predeterminado. That those people whether you be a Jew or a Gentile, y, y que si fueses judío o gentil, that if you follow Yeshua in spirit and in truth, que si tú sigues a Yeshua en espíritu y en verdad, it was predetermined by the Father beforehand, fue de pre predeterminado por el Padre de antemano, that those that would follow Yeshua in spirit and in truth, que aquellos que seguiría y sigan a Yeshua en espíritu y en verdad, would be given an inheritance se les otorgará una herencia. So you have to follow in spirit and in truth. Entonces tú tienes que seguir en espíritu y en verdad. Now what, what does that mean? Ahora, ¿qué significa eso? Well, you got, remember who he's writing to. Ahora recuerden a quién él está escribiendo. That's why we started four weeks ago in a history lesson. Por eso es que cuatro semanas atrás comenzamos una, una 
una clase de historia. Well, that's why it was very important. Por eso fue muy importante. Where is he writing this letter to? ¿A quién él está escribiendo esta carta? Ephesus. A Éfeso. What type of place is Ephesus? ¿Qué tipo de, de, de lugar es Éfeso? It was a huge city. Era una ciudad grande. In a huge city, you're going to have rich people and poor people. Y en una ciudad grande, tú vas a tener personas ricas y pobres. You're going to have secularism. Tú vas a tener mucho secularismo. Because the people back then are the same as we are today. Porque las, las personas en aquel tiempo son las mismas que hoy. They're going to have, they had two major pagan gods. Tenían dos dioses eh, primordiales. They had Diana and Tenía, Artemis of the Ephesians. Tenían a, eh, Arte, Artemisa de los Efesios y a Diana. Okay, so it was predetermined. Entonces that, fue predeterminado. That anybody, no matter where you are. Que cualquiera, no importa donde vivas. That you can leave your pagan lifestyle. De que tú puedes eh, dejar tu vida, eh, el, tu modo de vida pagano. And follow Jehovah in spirit and in truth. Y seguir a Jehová en espíritu y en verdad. Okay. But it was predetermined that it has to be through Yeshua the Messiah. Pero fue predeterminado que debía ser a través de Yeshua el Mesías. Let's read verse 11 again. Vamos a leer versículo 11 una vez más. Also in union with him we were given an inheritance we who were picked in advance according to the purpose of the one who affects everything in keeping with the decision of his will. Amen. Amen. Now we're looking at the word purpose. Ahora estamos viendo la palabra propósito. What is Jehovah's purpose? ¿Cuál es el propósito de Jehová? He wants everyone to be able to come back home. Él quiere que todos eh, es el, eh, que, que regrese, él quiere que todos regresen a casa. But everybody is going to have to make their own decision. Pero cada uno va a tener que a tomar su propia decisión. That's your key. Esta es tu clave. His purpose is that you would be obedient. Su propósito es que tú seas obediente. Your purpose is I don't care about his laws. Eh, tu propósito es que a mí no me importan su, sus leyes. Everything else is more important than studying God's word. Todo es más importante que estudiar la palabra de Jehová. Everybody, everything is more important than Bible study. Todo es más importante que el estudio bíblico. I, know, I got to do laundry on Bible study night. Oh, yo tengo que lavar la ropa en el, el, el día de estudio bíblico. Or I got to go listen to another teaching somewhere else. Oh, tal vez me tenga que ir a escuchar a otro predicador por allá afuera. Okay. So, you have to decide what your purpose is. Tú debes de, de decidir cuál es tu propósito. But Jehovah's purpose for your life is for good. Pero el propósito de Jehová para ti es bueno. And how do you get good? Y cómo es que tú recibes lo bueno. That is found in Deuteronomy 28 and Leviticus 26. Esto se encuentra en Deuteronomio 28 y Levíticos 26. But if you don't want to put the work in, pero si tú no puedes, si tú no quieres eh, esforzarte y hacer tu trabajo, then your purpose is going to be for garbage than for good. Entonces tu propósito va a ser más para basura que para bien. Now here, let's move to the next slide. Aquí vamos a la siguiente diapositiva. Okay, verse 11 again. Versículo 11 una vez más. In union with him, we were given an inheritance. We who are picked in advance according to the purpose of the one who affects everything. In keeping with the decision of his will. Amen. Mm -hmm. So now we're looking at, we're going to look at the definition of the word purpose to see if it lined up with what we just said. Ahora vamos a ver la definición de la palabra propósito para ver si se alinea. Got it? Yeah. All right. Purpose is G4286. La, el propósito es la palabra G4286. The first definition is a setting forth of a thing. Like putting something in view of everybody. Ok, eh, la primera definición es como poner algo en frente de todos para que puedan verlo. Um, placing in a view. Eh, poniéndolo a la vista. And, why, and here's the other, the real interesting one. The showbread. The show. The show. Hello, the showbread. Y aquí es la más, la más interesante, la... Um, the bread in, in the holy place. Oh, es el pan en el lugar santo. Okay. Now, the purpose of the Mishkan, the tabernacle. El propósito del Mishkan o el tabernáculo. Everything had an order. 
Todo tenía un orden. Everything had a purpose. Todo tenía un propósito. Everything had a purpose. Todo tenía un propósito. Okay. So God said, build me the tabernacle this size. Eh, Jehová dijo, Haz, hagan, construyame el tabernáculo de este tamaño. I want you to put the, the, the entrance this size. Él dijo, yo quiero que hagan la entrada de este tamaño. Okay, when you walk in, you have the altar, the, the burning, the, where you put the, your offering. Eh, cuando entras, allí tienes el lugar donde eh, depositas, eh, pones tu ofrenda. The purpose of... Um, The purpose of the altar is that you would give an offering before going to meet the Lord. El propósito es que tú ofrendarías algo a Jehová antes de encontrarte con él o o o o, o, o tener estar con él. Sí. Then before going into the holy place. Y antes de entrar al lugar santo. You would then, you would then wash off. Entonces luego te lavarías. Before entering the holy place, so enter before entering in, you got to wash your hands and feet. Antes de entrar a ese lugar santo, deberás lavarte las manos y los pies. There's a purpose for everything, for everything, for everything, for everything. For everything. Hay un propósito para todo. Okay. There's... One, two, there we go. There's a purpose for everything. Hay Don't un worry, I'll say it four todo. times, Satan, you bastard. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to keep saying it. You're not going to stop it. There's a purpose for everything. Hay un propósito para todo. And I will call you a bastard. Y yo te llamaré un bastardo. Because I'm not stopping. Porque yo no voy a parar. I don't care if I have to say it eight times to get it recorded. Yo no me importa si tengo que decirlo, repetirlo ocho veces para así que this, poder grabarlo. This Jew's not stopping. Este judío no va a parar. Especially with the purpose. Y especialmente con el propósito. And if you think I'm nuts for talking to Satan, you're, you're just an idiot if you don't believe he's there. Y si tú piensas que, y, y si tú no crees que yo le estoy hablando a Satanás, tú simplemente eres un idiota del no saber que, y no conocer que él está allí. If you don't believe in the spirit world, you're just a moron. Si tú no crees en el mundo espiritual, tú simplemente eres un tonto. Okay, so you go into the Mishkan, the tabernacle. Entonces tú pasas al Mishkan, al, al tabernáculo. There's an order. To everything. Hay un orden para todas las cosas. And then in the holy place. Y luego en el lugar santo. There's the, the menorah on the left. Está la menorá al lugar a la mano izquierda. The showbread is on the right. El pan está a la mano derecha. There's a certain amount of bread. Hay cierta cantidad de pan. It's stacked in an order. Y eso está puesto en orden. It's made in a particular type of Uh, order. Y esto está preparado en un orden eh, particular. Okay. Then before you go into the most holy place. Y antes de pasar al lugar más santo. There's the incense table. Está la, la mesa del incienso. There is a purpose for, every, for everything in the Lord. Hay un propósito para todas las cosas en Jehová. So you're given inheritance. Entonces a ti se te ha dado una herencia. You're given an inheritance. Se, se, se te ha dado una herencia. If you follow Jehovah's purposes. Si tú sigues el propósito de Jehová. This is what he's trying to tell the Messianic congregation in Ephesus. Eso es lo que le está tratando de decirle a la, a la iglesia mesiánica en Éfeso. Okay, it's a very important understanding. Es un entendimiento muy importante. Every person has a purpose. Cada persona tiene un propósito. According to the one who affects everything. De acuerdo a aquel que afecta todas las cosas. Okay. That this is what you need to comprehend. Esto es lo que tú debes de entender. And if you're not doing the Lord's will. Y si tú no estás haciendo la voluntad de Jehová. His purpose for your life. Es propósito para tu vida. Then you're not going to get your inheritance. Entonces tú no vas a obtener tu herencia. Let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la siguiente diapositiva. Verse 11. Versículo 11. In union with him we were given an inheritance. We who were picked in advance according to the purpose of the one who affects everything in keeping with the decision of his will. Amen. 
in the keeping in the, the decision of his will y, gu y guardando la decisión de, de su de su de well de qué de su voluntad okay in accordance with Jehovah's purposes y de acuerdo con el propósito de Jehová and his counsel y su concilio okay what is the Lord's counsel ¿Cuál es el concilio de Jehová? That is 613 laws of God. Esas son las 613 leyes de Jehová. What is the Lord's purpose? ¿Cuál es el propósito de Dios? The 613 laws of, that he gave us to live our lives by. Las 613 leyes que él nos dio para vivir de, de acuerdo a ellas. And how do you know his purpose for your life? ¿Y cómo es que tú conoces el propósito para tu vida? Malachi 3 verse 6 says what? Malaquía 3.6 que dice Jehová said I don't change Jehová dice yo no cambio So this verse is very important Entonces este versículo es muy importante Because a lot of people don't want to follow the laws of God Porque muchas personas no quieren seguir la voluntad de Jehová Because they think they, they don't understand the purpose of God porque ellos no entienden el propósito de Jehová. Okay, let's go on to the next slide. Se va a la siguiente diapositiva. Okay, I want to finish this section before tonight's uh, study is over. Verse number, let's read 11 and 12. Vamos a leer versículo 11 y 12. And also in union with him, we were given an inheritance. We who are picked in advance according to the purpose of the one who affects everything in keeping with the decision of his will. So that we who earlier had put Our hope in Messiah would bring praise commensurate with his glory. Okay, now this is key. Ahora, esto es clave. In verse number 12. En el versículo 12. How do you bring praise to Messiah if you're actively sinning? ¿Cómo es que tú llevas eh, adoración al Mesías si estás activamente pecando? How do you go on to an altar at a church or a synagogue ¿Cómo es que tú vas a un altar en una sinagoga o en una iglesia? If you're unclean. Si tú estás impuro. You know, you see a lot of, you know, Messianic congregations are now putting their broadcasts on tú te estás all the different areas. Tú te, estás, te, te has dado cuenta de que muchas congregaciones mesiánicas están poniendo al aire todas sus, sus actividades. If you're giving praise to God, si tú estás eh, dándole alabanzas a, 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 a Dios, you're worshiping Him. Tú es, lo estás adorando. But your woman in her younger ages, y las mujeres en tus eh, eh, en sus edades ya más jóvenes, and you're having your neida, y están teniendo su neida, su un periodo. How can you enter the altar area of your congregation? ¿Cómo puedes tú entrar en ese en esa en esa área de tu congregación? Would you let a leper into your altar area? ¿Será que tú permitirías a un leproso entrar en esa área? Would you let somebody who's vomiting into your altar area? ¿Será que tú permitirías a una persona que está vomitando en la área de tu altar? Would you let somebody who has diarrhea into your altar area? ¿Será que permitirás a alguien que tiene diarrea entrar al área del altar? Then why would you let somebody who's having her menstrual cycle? Entonces, ¿por qué permitirás tú que alguien con su su eh, eh, menstruación men, ya su su ciclo menstrual esa era la palabra que estaba buscando gracias su ciclo menstrual pasar al área del altar? How do you bring praise to God if you're not following his commandments? ¿Cómo tú llevas eh, alabanzas a Jehová si no estás eh, siguiendo sus mandamientos? Praise commensurate with his glory. Eh, alabanzas eh, The end of verse 12. Yeah, I'm trying to read commensurate. Um, alabanzas along, conjunto, along, along, con, along with. Alabanzas junto con, con su gloria. If you're still living like a pagan. Si tú sigues viviendo como un pagano. Pretty intense. Okay, we're going to pause there on slide number slide number 68. Okay, vamos a parar aquí en la diapositiva número 68. Okay, any questions or comments on WebEx land? ¿Alguna pregunta o comentarios en la en en la en línea WebEx? You're going to have to turn your camera on if you want to talk. Uh, 
Okay. okay. No, just like another word, trying to figure out another word for commensurate. Javier, would you like to say something? No? You're just saying I'm awake. No, Rob, everything is very good. It's pretty intense. But it's, I noticed something on the, uh, key, uh, the Valera in the verse um, that we discussed last week for uh, uh, predestination which is predetermined, and verse, and verse 10, you use uh, predetermined. Let me see. Predestinados. Yeah, so in verse 11, you use predetermined, but in verse 7, you use predestination. So it's, Use both words instead of using the same word on verse uh, as uh, seven, the one we uh, started as uh, week five, that we started last week. So it, when you say whose fault the pastors or, or the people, we all you know, we all rely in the at these translations, but we never had the you know to. I don't know how to call it. We know we didn't have the, the heart to go deeper and really check what's going on. We were playing around with 1,500 denominations. So we were worried more about fighting each other's doctrines and beliefs than really go deep in the scriptures. So that's one of the problems that we also noticed that Instead of going through the scriptures, we were fighting each other. You know, the Pentecostal Jehovah Witnesses, the Church of God, seven day, the seven day, we all fighting each other for the set of doctrines and beliefs that somebody came up with, but not really going deep, you know. But it's, it's very deep, nice. Thank you. Thank okay. you for coming. Rock Hashem. Anybody here have any questions or comments? All right, let's pray and close our day. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings today. Thank you, Lord, for a Tuesday without rain. Uh, and thank you, Lord, for this beautiful place and the people. And thank you for the snacks. In your name, Yeshua. Amen. Shalom, Havarim. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to The Remnant's Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, bethgoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-E. I am org and click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just to ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Shalom, 
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture, truly the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend a day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our king praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with a reading of the new week's parashah. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, Yeshua. Shalom.